Hello there, peeps. Celine here, and welcome back to Lunar Harmony. I keep reaching for the headphones, but then I realize I can't wear the headphones with this game. Oh, well. This is the center of all magic, a vein. Normally, this place would never be any use, but... Alex, Jessica, Kel, Nash, Nell, please lend me your strength. All right, Mia, time to show Galleon what we really made up. Well, I was never one to turn down a woman's request, so count me in. We got your back, so fight this thing with everything you got, Mia. We're all set, Mia. Yeah, Nell makes no sense. Is he going to sit on the device and put his paws on it? Eh, probably. Because he's so tiny, he sits on Mia's shoulder. Because he's that tiny. So, how is he going to get up the smallest balls? Here it comes. Time to release the true power of Vayne. Yeah, I have uh, something to say. <laughs> um, Nell was on Alex's freaking shoulder during that. So he was so tiny, he couldn't do the, the little knob. But uh, there's one other thing, Pete. Um, and Lunar 2. The granary is still there, and Vane is still on the ground. 
but their placements are different. Because a thousand years has uh, passed since uh, one and two. And even though it states that Nell never visits the White Dragon Cave very often because he takes care of his own problems in his little Netherland section, in my AU, he visits it more often than what they think he does. Mostly at night, mind you, when the children are asleep. So that's a spoiler for uh, two. And it'll be a while before I do two. Are you all right? I'm fine, dizzy, but fine. Well, I do believe that was the most exciting draw in the history of magical combat. And the fun just begun, hasn't it, Mia? We were able to shatter the shield around the gainery, but we did not damage it itself. We'll have to enter it in order to stop it. Alex, let's use the white dragon wings and get out of here. Right, let's go everyone. Oh, okay. Here, I thought you were gonna do it yourself. No, okay. Okay, when you're ready to start your... Okay. Work to... Wait. Okay. Work to Reza. I'm so, so... I'm so sorry, Vane. I never believed I would play a part in this sad fate. Yeah, but everything's fine. Yeah, no, I told a big spoiler for two, but it's fine. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go talk to Lily. You would think they would clean this place up with a little girl running around. She's not giving me the gel ring. Eh, tell you the truth, I don't care. Yes, these are secret items, but I don't really care. Yeah, I don't care about these secret items. So let's just go into the uh, very sad. Let's go to the granary.
I know I did a full, I got all the items and all the secret items in my first playthrough of Lunar 1 on the PlayStation 1. Go watch that series if you want all the items. Because obviously, uh, I'm not doing shit right, but I'm not getting items, so. I don't care. I'm getting the last of the bounce, though. The little, I, the little pictures. I'm getting them. Amazing, isn't it? The closer you are to this rolling bud, the uglier it gets. Alex, how do we get in? I don't see any doors. Well, that's a door. And those are enemies. One group of ugly mother whatever straight ahead. Covenant of, of, of Gallia. How do you fight as well as you swear yell? I think it was saying mother effer, but in a kid friendly form of way. I don't know. And I really don't care. I'm starting, i suddenly not having any fun. Alex is useless, I don't care. Cal's not having fun, huh? Technically, now she's doing all the, all the damage. If anyone could get me a, uh, send me a, the moving sprite of Nell, who's not moving back and forth, he's just move, just flying in one spot. If anyone could send me that sprite, let me know. But I think I want the sprite from part one, not two. Or the sprite from, uh, the PS1 version. We're surrounded. Alex, it's been an honor and a privilege to fight beside you. But it looks like this is the end of the line. You were so close, Alex. Don't give up yet. None of you. My dad was in a fight for seven days and he never quit. Your dad wasn't fighting an army of monsters, Jessica. Alex, I don't want to die. Those were arrows. What the? Alex, over there. You guys had to... Oh. No, the granary would have left a pathway. To... An open pathway to them. Dragon Master, are you alright? Topis, has everyone told you that you're gorgeous? Gorgeous. Hey there, sweet, sweet pants. I thought you only had eyes for me. The tribe has never forget what you did for us. And we will bend up these monsters while you find the emperor and fulfill your destiny. Thanks, Topis. There's a time for thanks when the emperor lies dead at your feet. Now go. Sounds like a plan. Hopefully 
surface you're at closer shouldn't you be i don't know 10 feet away shooting arrows at the enemy eh whatever heals thunder so freaking much I'm just gonna beat the game with none of the hidden objects or anything. I'm just, I don't care anymore. That's a Paul. That is a Paul. And no one's going to make a comment on the fact that that's a ball, a back ball. Because that's a back leg. Hey, that's seven. Uh, we're going backwards. But yeah, we're going to see bits and pieces of the dragons. Please. But the characters are, are not going to uh, notice the dragons until we get to the head of a certain one. But even though I'm on the fence of being 50 and above, try to be at least in the 40s by the time you enter here. Yeah, I'm uh, leaning, I'm going into 50. Try to be at least go, uh, be in the early 40s by the time you get here. Like I said, be in, try to be in the fourth, in the early 40s, mid 40s. There's no dragon part in this room. There is one in the next, but we're not going straight to the next one. We're going up to the chest.
though, Pape, do you want to know what's really sad? This game makes me want to take a break. A week-long break. But no, I'm not going to take a week-long break unless I have 30 videos in the backlog that allows me to take a 30-minute, a, a week-long break. Which, I probably won't get that many videos in the backlog until I play, uh, until I get done with this game. But we're actually in the second to last uh, dungeon of the game. I'm being serious. This is the second to last part of the game. Because the last part is the death is the goddess statue, which is up in the sky. Luna hasn't turned into the goddess yet, so she hasn't unlocked the goddess statue yet. Or the guy's, uh, temple. She hasn't activated it yet. And you know, technically I can see the dragons passing away shortly after this. Because it makes sense. Um, Galia is sucking out all the magical. See, there's the the blue dragon, his tail. But Galia is sucking out all the magical energy from these dragons, so I can tell, so I can see uh, them d passing away. shortly after this. This part of the game always makes me want to cry. In fact, this part of the game messes with my depression. Due to the fact I love dragons. I love dragons. Thankfully, two doesn't do this type of thing. They take the dragon auras away from the dragons. They don't kill the dragons, they just take the aura from the dragons. Which is funny because the white dragon... I don't think they, they took the white dragon's aura. Because Del would have noticed it. I don't know. We'll deal with the theories when we get to uh, Lunar 2.
sorry, I have to not concentrate on it because my depression is going to activate. And I don't want to cry tonight. Because I already feel the urge coming. Just by seeing the picture. There is a healing ring somewhere in here. Somewhere. Else I took that chest out. I don't know. But keep in mind, we saw the, the back paw of the red dragon, the tail of the white of the blue dragon. There's only two more dragons to see. And they're coming soon. Okay. Ooh, where's the black dragon could actually tell that the bodies are his brother and his bodies are uh being drained and that he's literally in pain himself so my character has to do with a dragon that's in pain Not to mention, she's very sick about Alex and her sister. So she's hugging on a stuffed animal that belongs to Luna. Because she's worried sick. Did I just see red wires going into his wings? Someone tell me I was wrong. I'm trying not to use the silver lights. But yeah, that's the black dragon right there. What's going on? So we saw the black paw of the red dragon, the 
tail of the blue dragon, the wings, as well as the back of the of the black dragon. Oh God! And Nell's gonna see his dad soon. Oh God! Poor Nell. Which I don't think Nell knows that Quirks is dad yet. Or, or maybe he does. That's why he's so tuned to the dragons. Mm. Oh, wait. We're close, just not close enough to do. We're just not close enough to see him yet. I want to do all the dragons in one video. So I don't have to deal with it in another video. Because I don't think my mental state can handle it. <laughs> Which, if you guys don't know, I do suffer from depression. It's just not classified if it's mild depression severe depression or what it is but I do have depression and I have no control over my tears I start crying for no reason and I've been like that ever since I was young so I don't know The sad thing is, I'm in love with dragons, and seeing my, my, the dragons that I love so much in the series hurt like that, it hurts me. Because this hurts more than anything. Horrible. Or wait, Alex, it's horrible. I thought the white dragon was dead. Alex, what has Galleon done to him? I'm sure he's done this to all the dragons. Galleon is drawing the power of the dragons to fuel the granary. And he's draining the life out of them. It's unbearable even to look like at this. What a sick little beaver. I can't believe I'm, what I'm seeing. Galleon has turned the dragons born to protect Althena against her. How can we possible, possibly fight against a man-man capable of drawing in this type of power? How can we? Don't you mean how can't we? You see the horrors that Galleon has affected on our world. Viewing this latest whatever should only strengthen your resolve to defeat him. With the greater you now immortal, the battle with Bane, we have our chance to strike at his core. You're right, Nash. For once, we have to stop this thing and stop it now. Come on, Alex. It's time to set Luna, save Luna, set the dragons free. Wait, but he's not moving. Nell, don't you know that's your father? For God's sake. He's using your father for fuel. If my character knew that, she would not be having one bit. She would be wanting to go there and slap Galleon so hard that his head spins. What? What is this, Alex? It looks like a park. In Heart of Greenery, a 
doesn't make any sense. It has to be a trap kill, right? so strong and handsome but sometimes he can't hide his sadness just being like this but we don't know how to approach him offer him throw our eyes into the future but they dissolve Kelly would do such a thing he was trying to take over the world don't worry though he's don't worry we're not here to harm you, thank goodness. The human girl called Luna was so kind to us. She's inside the tower over there. She's always cruel to us. They said they don't like the fact that Gallery protect us because we're weak. But that's not our fault. I love you, no, I don't need it. It's literally heart. Yeah, no. You know, that kind of changes the tone with, uh, with him. Because I think he has a good side, but at the same time, he's done this to the dragon, so. Uh, seeing the dragons and seeing the fairies kind of. I don't know. Also, I know time. I'll end the video after this fight. video I'll do tonight and then I'll be done for tonight I, I at least want to get to a safe section before I end the video completely but with that all said leave me a like comment subscribe if you haven't and I will see you guys in the next video bye bye